Good morning. It is 10.30 and I've already been up for five and a half hours. So we took Shane to his new pediatric gastroenterologist because the one he saw in the hospital and that we continue to see for a little bit outside of the hospital uh, is not any, is not covered by our insurance anymore, yay. And I fought it for a little while, but I finally gave in to go see the doctor that our insurance recommended. And he's amazing. And I don't know what I was fighting over. I guess because it's slightly more inconvenient location-wise, but he's even better. He's in a full practice group instead of one doctor, so it's more options for Shane. Um, the good news is that he agrees with the protocol that Shane's on, except he did say that we could expand Shane's diet. Shane's pretty excited. We're not going to go crazy and go revert completely back to old school eating, but we can add back some limited gluten. Although we really don't want Shane. was like, no, it's fine, but a little bit, a little bit of cheese. But, you know, just like an occasional splurge of maybe some french fries that now and then was really all Shane wanted to add to his uh, um, repertoire. An occasional Chick-fil-A chicken nugget. And maybe when he's out with friends, if he's at a friend's house and they're having pizza, he's allowed to have some pizza. Very exciting, but for day-to-day -day stuff, he said he's happy to stick with his regular diet. So thumbs up for Shane for being such a trooper. And um, thumbs up to Christina Brawley, who I texted and asked if she recommended this group and gave, she gave it a thumbs up as well. So yay for knowing people in the medical field, right? Anyway, because they're out of Houston. They're associated with the Baylor College of Medicine. So she was like, yes, you're in good hands. Anyway, it is now 10.30. I never did eat breakfast. So I'm gonna fix myself something to eat and uh, Maybe chill on the couch for a little bit. I feel like I've had a whole day already and it's not even lunchtime. Wow. Rowdy. Rowdy's looking... Rowdy has grown because he can get into more things. So, gotta keep an eye on this little booger. That's Wrigley. Interact at your own peril. See, he's even bigger. We've had to give him more food too. Oh, <gasps> good boy! That's the first time he scratched to go out. Let's go outside. I don't know if he did it on purpose or not, but let's give it a try. Good boy. Let's go outside. Outside. Yay. Oh my goodness. Are you going to go down the stairs like a big boy? I'm talking like an idiot. <gasps> Good boy, Rowdy. Wow. This is huge. Now, if he goes down and actually pees, then that means he's telling me he has to go to the bathroom. Don't worry. I will cut that part out. We don't have to watch him pee. Is he? He's pooping! Yay! Such a, ow, 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 ow. Such a smart boy! Okay, he's decided not to participate. For those of you who are dog owners, you get it. A puppy telling you he has to go to the bathroom and then actually doing it, major milestone. This is like a baby potty training. It's a huge, huge moment. Yes, yes, major milestone. Yes. Jake appears to be recovering quite well from wisdom teeth extraction. He's requested a smoothie and we're going to try this Quest protein powder. We like the Quest bars around here and of course peanut butter flavor. How do you make one of these? Mm -hmm. Use eight ounces of cold water. Ugh, could you imagine? Or other chisel liquid per scoop. Whip in a blender for possible, for if possible, for best texture. Alrighty then. Got my blender, I will say. If you can invest in a Vitamix, it's a pretty good thing. It even has a smoothie setting. All right, let's get this party started. You know the old saying, if you don't like the weather, then stick around for a while. I hear that apply to so many places, but I don't think it's more true than here, at least in South Texas. If you've been watching me, uh, you know, the vlogs daily this month, then you've seen me bundled up in a hat. And granted, my idea of cold, probably different than many of your ideas of cold particularly if you live north of here. But, you know, it can get into the high 20s, low 30s at night, uh, which is, you know, chilly. And then, like right now, it's probably close to 70 degrees, even though I'm all bundled up. It's cold in the house. And it's probably close to 70 right now. It's That's a big swing in temperature. If the weather keeps up and stays this warm, at least during the day, 
Then my goal is to get Wrigley, not Wrigley, Wrigley won't get in the pool. Mimi loves the pool, just to walk around. My goal is to get Rowdy in the pool because his breeders really want him to be acclimated. And if you don't introduce a Weimaraner early on to water, it's not a natural affinity like it is with Labs or Goldens. So Bosley was never a fan. But this guy could be a fan. Rowdy, you want to learn how to swim? He just literally took off in the other direction. Do you speak English? Do you understand English? Mimi, my sunbathing queen. So cute. How you doing, big guy? Good. You like your hoodie technique? Okay, for those of you who have children who are getting wisdom teeth pulled, a friend of mine gave me the best idea to keep the ice pack secure. Put a hoodie on them and then put the ice packs, you know, on either side of their jaw and then pull the hoodie really tight so that the ice packs are held in place. And that way they have their hands free and you don't have to wrap their head with like crazy bandages or pantyhose or any of the other um, quite bizarre things that people do to hold the ice packs in place. So there you go. Or frozen peas, those work too. Not the individual peas, bags of frozen peas. I've heard people not get confused and put literal, try to pour frozen peas on their head. Don't do that. I'm doing research. So I'm not being cagey on purpose. I'm just not sure what I'm allowed to say yet, but for my appearance, I'm doing a press tour in Boston next month and I'm gonna be on TV for part of it. So I need to wear something to be on TV. So I've been searching and I can't find anything. I have looked on Nordstrom's website, Diller, like J. Crew, Banana Republic, all the usual places, and Taylor. And so now I'm on ASOS. I never go on ASOS, I don't know why, but so here I am. And I'm looking for solid colors. Blue, green, red are good ones. Obviously like this one, not so bueno, right? I mean, come on, really? This one is a possibility, actually. I mean, I'm gonna be sitting down, so this isn't really an issue. I kind of want more of a V-neck. It's a little more flattering on me. When you're chesty, that high neck doesn't really do much. And I don't want it so short that I don't know, ooh, there we go. I don't know what the TV setup is gonna be, so. I don't want it so short that when I'm sitting down, it's riding up and showing most of my thigh. So I would like it a little longer. So anyway, and I want long sleeve because it's Boston and it's January. I didn't think it was going to be this hard, but it's been difficult. I guarantee you the day I come back from Boston, everything, every store I go in will have the dress I'm looking for. But anyway, so ASOS it is. I know Erin like lives and dies on this website and she has the best outfits so I just need to suck it up and plow through the 6,000 options that I'm looking at right here. If anyone has any suggestions on where to, I've looked at Dress Barn, I mean I think I know where to look but if anyone has any suggestions on a website to find something like this, solid color, long sleeved, red, blue, green, preferably v-neck, v -neck, preferably fit and flare. Preferably just about knee length, or a little bit above. Anyone? Help me out. Donna Morgan, nothing. And you know, I don't want to spend seven hundred dollars. If I could, if I had no budget, tons of options. Under two hundred, not so much. So anyway, I'd love to hear your ideas. Please help. All right, I know I said I couldn't find anything in Nordstrom, and then this thing just showed up. How did I miss this? Isn't this cute? Perfect, appropriate, conservative, solid color, awkwardly placed pockets, but I won't have my hands in my pockets on TV anyway. And look at that price, 88 bucks. And it comes in blue, purple, that's a dark purple. They call it aubergine, berry, back to blue. Black is not gonna do for TV or red. I am leaning, those are the colors that left in my size. I am leaning towards blue. I do like red, but I have a red dress, short sleeve, but still. I don't have a blue dress. So what do you guys think? I think I'm gonna get it. Oh crap, wait, it's back ordered. Ship on around, oh no! I guess I can see if there's another store carries it. Oh, red is in stock. Dang it, then there's also this one, which is, more money, but 
There's that bright green. Do you like me in the green color? And then there's hunter green. That one's 148. Kind of like the $88 price tag, but it's I think it's the same dress. Ah! Decisions, decisions. This one is not back ordered. I like the one in blue though. And I like the $88 price tag. I think I'm gonna keep looking online. I feel like we're having a conversation, but nobody's here except me. So that's Wrigley on the right, Mimi on the left. It's nice to see Wrigley getting involved. In my bed getting whoop. Hey, and the wife's are like, that's all right, we don't need him. Oh, and we're back. Oh, he's having a good time. Ah, now we don't need to play. We'll just trash mom's bed. I'm waiting for all three of them to get together and just team up on that. Oh, Wrigley's the king of it. <laughs> You know, I could be watching The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills right now, but this is almost the same. Bunch of little divas fighting and rolling around on a bed. All right, we're at the end of the day. It was a long day. I put my makeup on at 5.30 this morning. It is now, what time is it? 10.30. I'm not touched it up. And it's held up pretty well. I just wanted to show you these. These came today. I picked these out from Bobble Bar. I don't remember what they're called, but they're pineapple earrings as far as I'm concerned. How cute are these? Iridescent pineapple earrings. I usually don't go for gimmicky things like this, but I mean, iridescent pineapple earrings. So fun. These will be fun for summer for sure, but I just think they're really cute. I don't know when I'll wear them right now, but I will find a way. Anyway, I'm gonna wash my face. Just finished watching Real Housewives of Beverly Hills and not gonna give anything away. No major plot twists or anything, but what do you guys think of the new girl? Those of you that watch Real Housewives, Dorit, I don't, I don't know. Totally still loving Erica. I think she's awesome. And in the uh, coming attractions for next week, when Dorit says something like, some, she refers to, oh, Americans just need to relax or Americans need to settle down. And Erica says something like, what's with Americans? You're born in Connecticut. I love, I just love her. I could do a whole video on just talking about Real Housewives. I love it. I wish, I should do a live video, like on Facebook Live, just talking about the Real Housewives. I watch Orange County, I watch Beverly Hills, I watch New Jersey, and I watch New York. And I would love to like go back and forth find out who's on team what, who's their favorite people. Favorite people on Housewives of Beverly Hills, I would have to say is for sure Erica. And I still kind of team Vanderpump, I have to say. I just, there's something about her I really like. We can go on and on about it. I least like um, Eileen and Lisa Rinna. I find them to be slightly Elaine, Eileen, I mean, most of all, I just cannot. She just irks me. But I think she's, I find her personality very irritating. That could be a whole discussion on and on and on about why. And um, I'm kind of with Lisa Vanderpump on like, let's talk about how you got your marriage started, shall we? Really? You were married to someone else? He was married to someone else? <laughs> it's kind of hard to overlook that, right? Anyway, but she looks amazing. That I can't let go. I can't even believe I'm having this discussion. It's not even a discussion. I'm talking to a camera. Clearly, I have way too much invested in people I don't know in real life. But for those of you that have been watching me for a long time, I did go on a trip to Beverly Hills with Michael once with, with him on business. And um, I did eat at Lisa Vanderpump's restaurant, Villa Blanca. And I did go to shop at Kyle's store, Kyle by Elaine. I do have a shirt from there. So I did a little housewife stuff. It was fun. Anyway... I have just probably completely embarrassed myself and half of you are probably unsubscribed. Um, I'm gonna go wash my face and call it a day. It's been a long one. And um, yeah, that's it. So let me know if Facebook Live, is that what it's called when you live stream on Facebook? If that's something any of you would be interested in, in watching, and especially if you're interested in like chit-chatting about housewife stuff. I think that could be fun. It's totally vapid, but it's fun. Good night. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you tomorrow morning. No, I'll see you just tomorrow.
tomorrow in general. Bye.